Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Murray Cut Tour. Today we're taking a look at the London Tour Peach Cup London Loop 2 Tricks. Really, it's not about how much you score, it's about how you play because we're all going to be having different equipment. This is we're done without a glider. London Loop T is going to be one of the best ones to get a high score on, being that it's a trick level. Um, if you want to be going for those first place position and get those 25 gems. Remember, tier is changing, so we can go up to level 23 next time we go up. So it's got 20 to 40 now, um, which is going to be important for completing the challenge where you have to get up to 30. Now, London Loop T, let's talk about setup. So before we go into it, what we're going to be doing, if you're new to the channel, we look up, uh, you know, the best kind of routes in the game of this track. And we look at how to maintain combos, which areas are probably best to do that, when to use your item, free item spin, um, all of that. And then we're going to go into a little setup guide. Now, I am going in with two high ends that are important to have, and that's Pauline and my cat, Macaron. So hopefully most of us will have at least one of these high ends in these cart driver and glider. Uh, the main one to have is the glider. If you've got that, I think you're you're sweet to get this for a trick level because it will give you that extra combo time that you really need in this level to, to hold certain parts together. Now uh, I'm going I'm going in with Pauline. I pulled her in the first tour, very first one, and put a ticket into her to take her to level two. If you do have a level one high end, I definitely recommend putting one of your high end tickets into to them to get that four percent chance, two percent chance up to four percent chance, and a one times bonus points boost. Now between Pauline and Daisy Holiday Cheer, they're exactly the same. You've got two with Lucky Seven ability, and Lucky Seven is a really good ability to have in this track uh, because it's got so many things attached to it, and it's something that you, you know, it's not something you're relying on a frenzy to get multiple hits with. So if you're in the middle of the pack, you can get a lot of hits with that. So either Daisy or Pauline is a good option. If not, um, Mario is going to be a good to good option, but. Peach, because Peach has been in the store, I've might have got her up to level three. Diddy Kong is also up to level three, but that that's special skill is just so unpredictable. So I would be going in with Peach personally as a super option. Uh, if you don't have Mario Santa, Mario Santa is going to be good to have at level two. Not so good. I think Peach will probably be better at level three, being that you'll get the, the two times point bonus chance 3% compared to only a 2% chance for level 1. Um, but yeah, if you have got tickets and you're relying on it, you might want to put it into Mario Santa. I'd probably hold off though uh, for using it on a high end that you may be investing in. Depends on the current tour. Mario Santa can... What I try to look for is whether people have got T's in their tracks because that's where Frenzy is going to get really high scores. So Mario Circuit T, Rainbow Road, Road 2 is good. Uh, Pauline, I believe, has more. Yeah, we've got four trick levels there, which is why I put my ticket into Pauline. Might even consider putting another one in, but I don't feel the need to at the moment. So in terms of driver, Pauline is the best option for me. Going in with car, obviously, if you've got Macaron and um, you have Ribbon Rider, Ribbon Rider is, is uh, you know, in terms of jump boost versus the bonus for mini turbo pluses, depending on the level, it, it's, it's different because you're going to get a fair few mini turbos in this level, but you're also going to get a fair few jump boosts. So I think they're probably about even in terms of comparison, but I've got the Macaron, so I'll be going for that one. If you don't, Car is going to be a good option if you've gold pass uh, the red, reddish rider. So you get slipstream plus, which isn't that great. Personally, I don't get very many slipstreams because I like to try to stay in first place to get a good score. Now, um, cheap cheap charger, the green one though, is is actually quite a good option because it has jump boost plus. So it, that's an option that most of us will probably be able to take, seeing as it's a common. Uh, super is probably the best option though without that high end being at level two uh, slipstream plus again not as great but will give you a fairly good points boost now then we come into glider obviously if you have any of the two high ends they're going to be good to go for you have a choice of glitter glider which will be in this tour lightning plus not a great option because as i said you want to be staying in first place fair fire super horn may actually be a good choice if you're going in with a uh, Pauline or Daisy because they will have the super horn in the lucky seven. 
So I'd probably go for that over the brand new glider that we have. I'm opting for Peach Parasol though because of the Red Shell Plus. I feel like I'll be getting more Red Shells than I will Bullet Bills. Definitely a better option that way. And also, that increased chances of getting one. Red Shells can be really helpful, even if you're in first place, throwing them backwards. If you're on a straight track, it's fairly easy to get a hit. Um, but if people do happen to get ahead of you, it can be a good one to recover your position. So, I'm going in with Pauline Macaron and the Peach Parasol. So first off, I'm gonna show you the second lap of this track. Uh, the first lap was absolutely appalling. Uh, <laughs> But the, the, the second part of this was done perfectly. So we're coming into this first part. I like to hold my drift round here. And then you want to release it at a point where you'll be able to connect the mini turbo boost or whatever point it's at up with that first jump. So coming around here, you see I release it there, switch to the left and then get those coins taken to a three times combo. Come around that corner. I actually get a nice batch of coins from somebody's coin box. So in this section, after you've come around this corner, I would hold my drift for a while and then release. Just turn to the left, drift release. Turn to the right. I use my item there. So to get from this point, um, once you've out of here, you're going to need to use items. You can drift right, left, right if you're good about it. But a key thing to do here is you see when I came past this barrel, if you aim for the barrel to the left side of it, you can hit the barrel. Now I go through it with a mushroom so it breaks easily, but if you hit it without a mushroom, you can hit the barrel and it will bounce you off slightly into the jump. You always hit the coin barrel and the coin, but sometimes it'll bounce you off enough that you collect, that you get hit sideways and collect more than one coin. Uh, but as I say, I've used a mushroom here, so I collect all three, giving me a boost to my combo. Left turn here. Um, so to get from that point to, to this first ramp, you're gonna have to hold your boost, you get, you let go of your um, turbo boost at the right time because on the parent peach parasol glider to get from there to there is is very difficult now i would rely on items i did get lucky there where i got hit by a red shell but because i held my banana it meant that i got item deflected and that maintained my streak so focus on getting an item there that you'll be able to use to connect that point so with peach parasol without any extra speed going into it to get that first you know, weight and then use your mini turbo boost and then get to this ramp and the first one to hit it is very difficult. I think it's doable, I've done it before, but it's very rare that you're gonna get it. More often, you're gonna leave your combo a little bit too long and lose it. So try and rely on an item, hold one back for that part of the course. Now coming up to this section, we have a few ramps with three coins across them. If you hit them at the right angle, so side on, you will be able to get two of those coins, not just one. I think I don't pull one there, there or there. I think I may have just pulled one on that last one. I usually get six out of the eight that you can possibly get. Um, and then I pull a frenzy at a nice point. But without that frenzy, you can actually make it another point where you want to connect your combo regardless of getting a frenzy is at this point. So you want to hold your drift here, then hold your boost out for as long as you can. Boost right there, boost left there, and keep this angle going along the buses. That's what I go for. Then you can do a drift left and right and maintain it over there. Boost into these boxes. These boxes are a risk. They come with the risk of finding a banana in there and automatically spinning out. That doesn't mean you're going to lose your combo because you might spin out, drop some coins in front of you and be able to pick them straight up. But there are also coins and mushrooms in those crates as well. So you can get an addition of the crate to your combo. But also if you find a coin in there, that's two times added and then another you know, two times if you've got two coins in there, which I have found before, or even mushrooms. So then you come out to here, get the coin off there. Now you can opt to go off over that ramp 
um, trying to hit the side to slow you down and you'll get those coins every time. But if you're going too fast sometimes with a mushroom, you might go over the top of them. Coming around here, we're just looking for a nice finish. And that pulled a nice 12,000 points. So that was definitely the highest combo that I've kept. It was a 78 combo in the end. Whilst the first lap, I, you know, I started that second lap, I think, in, in eighth place or seventh, sixth, something right at the back. And, and from then on, with the frenzy and connecting up all those combos, you can pull a high combo and start getting big points for all the things that you encounter. So that's probably the best example of a, a good lap. Now next I'm going to show you this run, um, the second lap this was done really well, it hits all the points, I really want to show you how that barrel trick works so that you can get a good hit off it and get a good amount of times to your combo. So going into the second lap on this one I'm in first place which is good for me to be able to get my coins, so we've got a right drift here, holding it through here, let go then twin to the left, then let go, then to the right, and then let go, maintain my combo, and there you see it, it's the perfect barrel touch, where you hit the barrel, an angle that it flings you off into the coins, I think I missed the first coin and actually hit the second two, which was better than just getting the one, obviously. <laughs> We go over that ramp. You can also get the two coins there if you hit it at the right angle. So going into this section, we want to get in between the coins, in between the coins, and we pull six out of the eight, which is pretty good. Here, I'm going for the left and then to the right. I just don't maintain my combo, which is a shame. But two parts of that track on the second lap were really good. It's the barrel touch to get the fling off. So I got four times to my combo by hitting that. And also getting in the middle of those coins on the section with the four ramps. They will help you to get a high score. So let's check out my 13,500 run. So you know actually what you have got to do to be able to get that with the settings that I have. So driver, cart, glider. If you've got similar ones, that's what you should be heading for. Um, right, so we go from the start. So rarely get the slipstream on that. But it doesn't matter because I'm in a fairly good position. You always want to land that bus, get that jump boost. Using the item just to help out maintain it there. Holding onto the red shell. Now here, I hold onto the red shell hoping that somebody will pass me. Just doesn't pass me quick enough. I would have used that to maintain my, um, my combo. We pull the banana frenzy. Banana frenzy, coin frenzy are two of my favorites. Uh, seven skill if you've got Pauline. Now come around here, I don't tend to try and maintain it, but we get the coins and we almost do with three hits. Um, off, two came off green shell and one off a banana. We'll come around here, get those coins. We're pulling up a fairly good combo coming into this section, just off hits that I've got. I'm unsure whether if you open the barrel, whether if somebody lands on that banana, you get the hit for it. But I think I, because I didn't drop a banana there, I may have actually got it there. So coming into the second lap, we're trying to get the consistency where we need it. So right there, and we lose the combo again. So we could have held that, but we get a good banana, we get a good barrel hit. Coin frenzy, we miss that ramp. But here's where we're trying to concentrate and not mess up. We actually don't get a very good run on this one. I think it just relies on two frenzies, which is why I didn't show you this first. Um, but we actually maintain the combo there. Just lose it again. So you can see this 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 high score is maintained off two frenzies, two of the best frenzies, in my opinion. Come through the barrels, get coins in both of them, the crates, have a protection with the shell, and get a final hit, pulling in and getting a score of three thousand five hundred. That's why I'm saying that's not my best run. The other ones are the way that you should do it. I feel like sometimes I do get thrown off by the frenzy. You get coining frenzy and you're a little bit excited and you just focus on, on tapping it. Um, so that's not the way to run it. And you can see you can probably get higher than 13,000 if you use the frenzies and run the track really well like in the other run. 
Uh, but hopefully some of those tricks will help you. Definitely, you know, the hitting the barrels and the crates, they're things that are important in this and getting the double coin off the ramps. Uh, let me know what you got in the set comment section below. What score have you got and what settings were you going in with? Um, but apart from that, though, that's all for this one. I'll be putting out a video on Bowser and Mario Circuit um, as soon as I feel like I've got a good run on those. Um, just feeling them out first of all. Uh, but hopefully that'll help you get a good score and set you up nicely for getting first rank. That's all for this one. Hopefully you've enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you have, please leave a like on the video and hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content and information. That's all from me. See you guys soon.